This is going to be a very fast flip through video of my Grateful Dead vinyl and my Grateful Dead bootlegs. My wife and I are driving to Vegas this morning and we are going to see the Dead and Company on the 4th of July. And I don't normally, I haven't posted much about the Dead other than maybe a few posters, but I've collected Dead almost as long as I've collected Pink Floyd. So since the late 80s, I've collected the CDs, the MP3s, the vinyl, posters, everything. I saw the Grateful Dead in 1994 in Seattle. I missed them many times and I regret that. And I've seen the Grateful, or the Dead and Company and versions of that over the years, probably three or four times. And this will be the second time my wife and I are gonna go see the Dead and Company. And it'll be at the Sphere, so I'm really looking forward to it. There's no cuts, there's no edits. It's, this is basically just a show-off flip video. My introduction to the Grateful Dead was Europe 72. This album, I moved to my grandmother's house in 88 and was looking for the cassette. I found the cassette and it took me forever to find the vinyl. This is a white label promo. This show is great. This is what I love the most about the dead was 1972. I have the Lyceum box set somewhere in that closet, which is like 22 albums of all Europe 72 type shows. Amazing stuff. Live Dead, another white label promo. I have all the albums, many different versions. Unlike Pink Floyd, where I collect albums from different countries, here I mainly do US versions. And I'm just going to flip through them. I'm, of the regular copies, I am just showing the white label promos that I was able to quickly find. Love this album. Again, all these are white label promos. And then I'm going to go into the bootlegs. And I think that's all the white label promos I have. This is their first album. This is early mono. This is how you want to hear this album. Again, I have a, a shelf up there full of different versions of different Grateful Dead albums and different solo albums of theirs. Now I'm going to go into the bootlegs. I've collected bootlegs for a long time. Grateful Dead has allowed people to tape their shows for forever. And because of that, they have probably more bootlegs than most bands. Again, I'm going to flip through these really fast. Out West. figure out how I'm going to place these. The Dead Live. I suppose if you don't like Grateful Dead, you've already turned away. But if you do like Grateful Dead, maybe make a pause and you can assume. I do have some Grateful Dead for sale because I have so many doubles. These are more recent. What is this? These are more recent issues, but all of them have color, multicolor, and vinyl. 1970. They're all varying quality. not going to put any music on this. I'm not going to do any edits. I am just going to show these things as fast as I can so then I can get ready to load up the car and drive to Vegas. The concert is on the 4th of July at the Sphere. This was the first Grateful Dead bootleg I ever got. It had no label. I came with a box of other records I bought. I had no idea what it was. It took me a while to figure out what concert that was. Garcia's Gang.
another out west. I have, I think, currently one of the most expensive bootlegs I have, the, the most value, is coming up. This is black vinyl. Again, in France. bought a grip of that um in a while i do have that cd up there whoa i can't even get to I can't even, right there the cd box set of 1973 pacific northwest really good cd box set the artwork is inspired by the indians from up there Floor. I do not like John Muir at all, but ever since he's been playing Jerry Garcia's part, I think he does a good job. So maybe I like him more. I heard him hanging with Bob Weir. Maybe he's like a nicer person. A lot of TMO, TM, trademark of quality. Length, metal lands. Rampage Revenge. of Rampage Revenge. I imagine most of this video is me looking to the left or looking to the right. Grateful Dead, San Francisco 1. West, Sideways Pig, that's trademark of quality. I have lots of Pink Floyd on trademark of quality. Again, San Francisco One. I think I have all the different colored versions of San Francisco One. San Francisco One. I have the inserts, if it came with an insert, Francisco one, half of them came with that insert. Palladium, and the die cast cover. Pink Floyd does one exactly like that. Interesting, I'm not seeing one super rare Rip a Dead album. This is the last one, and I'm not, I don't have it. 
might not go across the way. This is the last one of the bootleg. I've sold a lot of bootlegs, so I have way less. But Grateful Dead bootlegs, a lot of them aren't. Well, no. Grateful Dead has a lot more better sounding bootlegs than Pink Floyd because they allowed people to come and tape and set up near the sound booth. So there's a lot of shows available. If you go to archive.org, there's so many Grateful Dead shows that you could download in MP3 format or flat format. And you don't need to buy anything. Everything is just out there. And I recommend you doing that. Archive.org, and there's also what, GratefulDead.net. There's many websites devoted to all these. I have many posters. Um, being from Seattle, I have a wide variety of Grateful Dead Seattle posters. If I have time, I'll try to post some right here and there. I probably won't. Um, Pink Floyd is my main poster collection, and then Grateful Dead is the secondary poster collection. But Seattle shows of all bands being my third niche of poster collecting. But that is my Grateful Dead quick flip through video. And I'll see you at the concert. I found it. This was the one I was talking about. This is the rarest Grateful Dead bootleg that I own. This is well into, not well into the four, the low four digits. Super hard to find. Grateful Dead, Hollywood Palladium, trademark of quality. Beautiful, beautiful vinyl. That's the one that I couldn't find when we were flipping through all those records.